Welcome to the induction. My name is Sarah Fisher, and I am the president of the Marymount chapter of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi and an assistant professor in the Department of Criminal Justice. This is Marymount's third Phi Kappa Phi initiation ceremony. And funny enough, we've never done it the same way twice. We had a fully in-person ceremony in 2019, the before times. A fully online asynchronous ceremony in 2020. And now we have a hybrid ceremony. We are always moving forward in new and sometimes more exciting than we would like ways. We are pleased to be able to offer the initiation ceremony in a hybrid format today. And we thank you for your patience with all of our technical snags. Hopefully we will not encounter any more. Before we begin the ceremony this afternoon, please allow me to introduce the rest of our Phi Kappa Phi officers, many of whom you will see later in the ceremony and some of our distinguished guests. Our current chapter officers are Jonathan Reynolds, President-elect and Head Men's Lacrosse Coach, Allison Gregory, Secretary, Associate Professor and University Librarian, Dr. Catherine England, treasurer and associate professor of finance, Dr. Alice Patillo, membership coordinator and assistant professor in mathematics, Dr. Todd Rimkis, awards coordinator and professor in biology and physical sciences, Professor Bridget Murphy, communications coordinator and professor in graphic and media design, and Jasmine Roy, student vice president and member of the class of 2021. Also joining us this afternoon are Dr. Irma Becerra, president of Marymount University, and Dr. Hisham el Rawini, provost and senior vice president. We would like to thank Emily Fernandez, senior administrative assistant in library and learning services, for her help in putting this event together. We would also like to thank Professor Jim Ryerson, Associate Professor in Management and Marketing and Director of the School of Business for volunteering his time and talents as our photographer today. And we are very grateful for Joe Provenzano, Director for Institutional Design and his team for their invaluable assistance with the technology needed to live stream this ceremony from multiple rooms. We have not and could not been able to do this without them. On behalf of the Marymount University chapter of Phi Kappa Phi, I'd like to offer a special welcome to the parents, guests, and family members that are joining us virtually today as the university celebrates student scholarship. You are honoring the success of a large community of learners, administrators, staff, faculty, colleagues, parents, friends, and family have all contributed to the academic successes that we celebrate this afternoon. Initiates, we want to begin by telling you that we are proud of you. Proud of the work, the commitment, the talent, and the honor that you have invested in Marymount University. Congratulations on your successes and may your learning continue always. Next, we will hear from Dr. Irma Becerra, president of Marymount University. Dr. Becerra is the seventh president of this university. She joined us three years ago and her commitment to higher education has been a bright light each and every day of her presidency. Dr. Becerra's leadership is moving the university forward in bold ways. Please join me in welcoming her this afternoon. Thank you and good afternoon. I am so excited and proud to be welcoming you, welcoming you all to this incredible honor as you're going to be joining one of the most prestigious honor societies in the nation and in the world and you have done this you have earned it 
So congratulations. I'd like to start out by asking everybody to join me and applauding our students. And it's a special year because not only are you being inducted in this phenomenal, just extraordinary honor society recognition for this effort, but you did this in the middle of an incredible challenge, which is a global pandemic. And you not only did not stop your studies, you continued, you forged forward, and you continued with honors. So I think that you have something incredible to be proud of. I know this has been a, a very difficult year, a year full of anxiety, when is this pandemic gonna be over, and a year full of challenges. We also, many of us, had incredible pain that we suffered uh, through the loss of people that we love in our families, our friends. And then on top of that, the financial and the civil rights crisis that we have, uh, that our country has faced. So there's a lot that we are going to be recovering from uh, this year. And guess what? You are going to be an important part of our nation's recovery because you are going to be going out to help in the cybersecurity and IT and many careers, health careers that, are, that you all have taken on. And you are gonna be part of the solution to rebuild our economy and help our nation recover from this difficult pandemic. So we are now in your hands, right? Four years ago, you were in our hands and now we are in your hands as you help the country rebuild and forge forward. So for that, I'm incredibly um, proud of you. As part of this uh, Marymount induction class, you're gonna join 200 other excellent undergraduate and graduate students, as well as a number of our faculty and staff members that are now members of the Marymount Sacrifice Five chapter. So I think to me like yesterday, when I was about your age and I was inducted into the Phi Kappa Phi chapter of my uh, undergraduate university. So one day, who knows, one of you may be president of Marymount, welcoming a new class of inductees as they also join this prestigious society. So with that, I just want to uh, congratulate you, your family, for having done extraordinary work this year. You got to uh, graduation. We're gonna be celebrating in person together in just a couple of days. And then you're gonna become a proud member of our Saints alum, or many of you may be also considering going out to graduate school. So I look forward to, con to seeing you at commencement. And those of you that are continuing to go to graduate school with us, and I continue to see you as a graduate student too. And without further ado, again, congratulations to you. Congratulations to your parents and family. Also, we gotta be thankful to them because they also helped us to get here. And we're also thankful to all your faculty and the staff that did everything possible for you to be celebrating this momentous day. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you, President Becerra, for those uh, inspiring remarks. Part of our celebration this afternoon involves the solemn task of initiating 82 individuals into the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. These persons have been chosen on the basis of superior scholarship and good character, committed to a constant observance of the injunction expressed in its motto, let the love of learning rule humanity. Phi Kappa Phi strives to maintain unsurpassed standards, seeking to reward excellence wherever it can be identified in any institution that has a chapter of the society. Moreover, Phi Kappa Phi, being interdisciplinary, elects from all branches of academic endeavor, including the liberal arts, business administration fields, health professions, and education. The bylaws of Marymount University chapter of Phi Kappa Phi operating within the framework of the national bylaws 
specify certain conditions to be observed in electing persons to membership. These conditions are summarized as follows. Each student candidate should be of good character and must be at least in the final period of their junior year in a baccalaureate program. Senior undergraduates should be in the upper 10% of their senior class. An undergraduate student in the upper 7.5% of the junior class may also be a candidate. Graduate student candidates should be in the upper 10% of their programs with a, minim with a minimum of 18 completed credits. A chapter may also elect to induct faculty and staff members into the Honor Society. Faculty and staff members are invited to join based on exceptional scholarship or membership in other interdisciplinary honor societies. We have five such candidates this afternoon. It is appropriate that candidates should be initiated into Phi Kappa Phi, that they know certain facts about the society. In 1897, 10 seniors at the University of Maine envisioned a society whose membership would be open to superior college students, regardless of their academic discipline. They were assisted by interested faculty in uh, joining and organizing the Lambda Eta Society, Sigma Society. A year or so later, the name was changed to the Moral Society in honor of the sponsor of a congressional act which provided for land grant colleges. In 1900, the presidents of the University of Maine, the Pennsylvania State College, now Pennsylvania State University, and the University of Tennessee pledged their support. The society became national with these three chapters. In that year, it was renamed Phi Kappa Phi. From the initial letters of the three Greek words forming its adopted motto, Philosophia Prateto Photon, let the love of learning rule humanity. There are currently over 300 active chapters of Phi Kappa Phi, ranging from Maine to the Philippines and from Alaska to Puerto Rico. Now I'm gonna discuss a little bit of the society symbolism. The badge of the society is a globe against the background of the sun, whose rays form an expansive corona and they radiate in a number of directions. And those are symmetrical. And equal concentrations from behind the globe. These signify equivalence among the various branches of learning represent, that represent dissemination of truth as light. Encircling the globe is a band containing the letters Phi Kappa Phi and symbolizing the fraternal bond which girds the earth and binds the lovers of wisdom in a common purpose. The seal is in, uh, of the society features the badge in its center. The badge is surrounded by a crenellated line which represents the battlements and walls of Troy and which symbolizes a technological aspect of the ancient Greek culture reflected by the society. In the space between, all right, catching up there. In the space between this line and the periphery of the seal, there are three stars just above the badge, one for each of the three original chapters. Below the badge is the founded in 1897. The ribbon of the society is a meander pattern, which is common in ancient Greek uh, art and symbolizes the classical features of the society. The first Greek word of Phi Kappa Phi is philosophia. For historical reasons, the society translate this as the love of learning. The second word is protato, a verb meaning to rule. In our motto, the word has the form of a strong exhortation that calls on us to let the love of learning rule. The last word is photon, 
This word occurs in ancient Greek poetry and drama with reference to mortals in contrast to immortal gods. In our motto, it refers to all humans, women and men, so we translate it as the word humanity. Thus, in saying Phi Kappa Phi, the motto in Greek, philosophia proteto photon, you are calling on yourself and others to have your lives ruled by the love of learning. At this time, our chapter secretary, Allison Gregory, will present those faculty and staff who have been elected for induction at this time. And that will be followed by Allison presenting the undergraduate students who have qualified for membership and who have been elected for induction at this time. Good afternoon. My name is Allison Gregory. I'm the chapter secretary. I'm the university librarian. At this point, we're going to go ahead and induct our faculty and staff inductees. So as I call your name, please stand to be recognized and remain standing until all faculty and staff initiatives have been called. And we're going to ask our in-person audience to hold their applause until all of these initiatives have been recognized. So the faculty and staff candidates for initiation are Rebecca Barnes for her role as the president of Marymount University's staff council. Dr. Stephanie Ellis Foster for her role as the faculty athletics representative. Dr. Kenneth J. Harwood as Dean of the College of Health and Education. Dr. Marnell Niles Goins as Interim Dean of the College of Science and Humanities. And Professor James F. Ryerson for his volunteerism in support of our chapter as our official photographer. All of these individuals were elected in accordance with the conditions specified by our chapter's bylaws and they have accepted the chapter's invitation to membership in the society. I therefore present them to the president of the Marymount University chapter as candidates for induction. Congratulations. You may be seated. Undergraduate student inductees, as I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Please remain until remain standing until all of the undergraduate initiates have been called and we ask our in person audience to again hold their applause until they've all been recognized. Rima Fila. Rebecca Claire Deacon. Charles Donnelly Justice. Camila Giacomello. Liam Kendall. Anjan Patry. Samantha King. Danielle Nicole Leff. Mia Londrigan. Ruth McEwen. Nicholas McKenna. Kiera Miles Williams. Kathleen Miller. Veronica Nancy Oliveira. Joseph Rosas. Kayla Marie Rugg. James William Boyd Sanders. Joseph Sons. Alyssa Schroeder. Rael Swan. Mary Jane Thomas. Lindsay Wilkins. And Diego Salas. 
All of these individuals were elected in accordance with the conditions specified by our chapter's bylaws, and they've accepted the chapter's invitation to membership in the society. I therefore present them to the president of the Marymount University chapter as candidates for induction. Congratulations. You may be seated. At this time, our chapter student vice president, Jasmine Roy, and our chapter treasurer, Dr. Catherine England, will present those graduate students who have been elected for induction at this time. Good afternoon. Because our graduate students are so academically talented and competitive, we have 54 of them being initiated today. And we have more of them in person than we could safely accommodate in one single room. I will present the first half of the graduate initiates, and then Dr. England will present the second half. Graduate inductees, as we call your name, please stand to be recognized and remain standing until all graduate initiates have been called. And we ask our in-person audience to please hold applause until all of these initiates have been recognized. John Adams. Ali Shia Asmari, Abigail Anderson, Huen Wusan Birara Ayina Wu, Samantha Baker, Kayla Nicole Barnes, Radika Barrett, Maria Paula Bautista Acelas. Yulin G. Bingle, Brittany A. Bird, Roman Carlini, Emily Carnes, Bernard Aaron Carpenter, Larry Copeland Jr., Vivi Vivian de Resende Rocha Pedruco. Stephen Defaba, Thomas R. Donaghy, Daniel Duro, Nameka Ekwunif, Ahmed L. Manyalawi, Maria Paulina Escobar Boys, Mary Alice Furlong. Larissa A. Getzfred, Talisa C. Gonzalez, Catherine Hammond, and Louise Hernandez, Osai Pagia Ma, Ashley Town, Oscar J. Johnson, Harpreet Farr. Claire Noble Leverage, Tristan Wentworth Lee, Beth Lucy Spidell, Salalam Udine Megistu, Safiatu, Safiatu, my apologies, Safiatu Ojiri. Anza Nawab, Terry J. O'Neill, Borlatunji Borsunji, Julia Kagel, Shangwen Tang, Elizabeth A. Pierce, Apollonia Pollock, Matthew Rosenberg, Layla Tafik Schoenkeller, Jaden Schulke, 
Emily Stilwell, Rulanga Charles Campbell, Jason Hilotse. I apologize for that. Let me try that again. Jason Hilotse Sege. Justin Uber, Corrine Ann Vegan, Tanya Bolney, Ran Shia, and Laura Switcherowski. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Skip the slide. Yep. To Anna Mason. Yep. There we go. Anna Mason. My apologies. All of these individuals were elected in accordance with the conditions specified by our chapter's bylaws, and they have accepted the chapter's invitation to membership in the society. I therefore present them to the president of the Marymount University chapter as candidates for induction. Congratulations. Now, for the conclusion of these initiation rites, will all candidates please stand and repeat with me the motto of the society? The motto is let the love of learning rule humanity. Please repeat with me. Let the love of learning rule humanity. By virtue of your superior scholarship, by good character, by virtue of what you have achieved and who you are, a combination of the qualities which led to your election by this chapter of the society, it is now my distinct privilege to declare you all to be members in good standing of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. May you always continue to merit this high honor never flagging and never complacent, ever seeking the realization of the society's motto, let the love of learning rule humanity. I congratulate you and wish you well. We want to reiterate how proud we are of each of you. This is a tremendous achievement and you should be proud of yourselves. Please be seated. To close our ceremony today, we will hear from Dr. Hisham el Rowini, Provost and Senior Vice President in Academic Affairs. Dr. el Rowini. Good afternoon. So <clears throat> congratulations uh, for this important uh, induction today. Today you are honored and we are proud of you. So uh, while I was sitting here, I just wanted to look up the word honor in the dictionary. And then I found the four definition of the word honor. Uh, the first one, it says high respect and great esteem, obvious. But the second one, actually, I was struck by the second one because the second one says adherence to what is right or to conventional standard of conduct. That's honor, to adhere to what is right and, uh, uh, and, and uh, to a conventional standard of conduct. What does that mean? It means that there are responsibilities that comes with the honor, to adhere to what is right and also to, uh, to adhere to a standard of conduct. So now you are a member of this great honor society. What does that mean? What do we do after this? Or is this the end of it or are there other things? I think what we, what we need to understand today that this is the beginning, right, of a journey. Now you are a member of Phi Kappa Phi and there are expectations and also there are some privileges that you're gonna get. So what I would like you to know is one of the responsibilities is to utilize these talents that you have, because you were given talents that, that brought you here. Uh, 
uh, academic talents and, and achievement accomplished that brought you here. So those talents, those accomplishments that you were given, you need to pay some taxes for those. You need to pay some price for that. And the taxes and the price is to serve others. And this is one of the pillars. This is one of the pillars of Marymount University as, a, as a, one of the, the pillars of the mission of Marymount is to serve others. And that's what's expected of you. You have the talent and you are given uh, a, a lot of uh, knowledge and skill set that you earned here from the wonderful faculty who taught you. So take advantage of that and use it to serve others. And serving others doesn't have to be in your field. After all, this is an interdisciplinary society, right? We talked about this before. So in your field and other fields, as you go at work, and at home, in your neighborhood, uh, it doesn't have to be only in your local neighborhood. It could be in your city. It could be in your country. It could be in a different country. The, the set increases as we go. So once again, I want to congratulate you and take advantage. The privilege now that comes with this is there are many opportunities for you to attend workshops, to attend networking opportunities. Take advantage of this. Uh, if you are coming back, to Marymount next year, then try to run for a position, the vice president of the society. Um, if you, there are scholarships, apply for scholarships. So there are things that you can earn, that you can get by being a member, but also there is a lot that you can get. With that, I wanna congratulate you one more time. Congratulations, we are proud of you. And don't forget what was written here that you just said. What is it? Let what? The love of? learning, rule, humanity. This is what you need actually to take today with you. Congratulations one more time, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, Provost El Ruini, for those excellent words. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you for joining us and for supporting our inductees and the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Inductees, please wait until after the ceremony has concluded on Zoom uh, for further instructions on how to proceed out of the building in order to comply with social distancing protocol. We thank you all for your time and for attending and for your excellent work at the university. Thank you again. <laughs>